Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash, Double R.C. the Apostles, and Elder J. Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elders and Malachi of GMS and men that are like that are pushing the word with truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. All right, I'm gonna go to a quick little lesson here, man. Uh, I got a little article about the your, your punk ass military. All right, we're gonna read a little bit, make it a scripture or two, and we're gonna close out. All right, it says shrinking army worries. Lawmakers as military recruitment retention woes continue. So we already know that woes mean destruction continue. And we already know that Yahweh Shah doesn't need these fucking punk ass soldiers to join the military. You know, to to fill the fulfill the needs of Yahweh Shah, so to speak, you know? Yahweh Shah is gonna get this thing cracking with nuclear missiles, alright? And these punk ass soldiers in the military, in the Navy, uh, the Army, the Marines, the Air Force. That, it's all bullshit, man. You know? Now we know th there's going to be a, a decrease in people wanting to join the military because there's no, there's not a fight no more. There's not a fight. These people don't want to, there's no fight no more, man. You you had your thing uh, with well uh, September eleventh two thousand one, which which uh, made a lot of people join, but nowadays is it there's there's no fight man. I wonder that because it's all bullshit and everybody's waking up man. You got the internet man. Everybody's waking up to uh, the bullshit of this uh, society. The, uh, the military, the government, it's all bullshit, man. You know, Yahabashi is, uh, uh, is, is is open up your secret parts, man. Esau, you got no more no more plays, man. So once the military goes down, man, you ain't got shit after that, you know. But anyway, you want to read a little bit of this um, article? Maybe get a scripture or two. And, and, you know, jump off, man. What we got here? <clears throat> it says, Washington. Senators voice concerns about the shrinking size of the army on Thursday on Pentagon's... I don't want really to read that. I don't give a fuck about that. The army's budget request for fiscal year 2023 seeks to cut the 476,000 force to a cap of 473,000 soldiers. Despite previous permission from Congress to grow the service branch to five hundred uh half a million, excuse me, active duty troops by twenty twenty two. It says military officials have blamed the competitive post schmackdemic labor market and fewer qualified candidates for the shortfall. Now I, the reason why I'm reading this is cause nobody wants to join the military anymore. Nobody believes in that patriotic bullshit no more. Alright? Nobody believes in it. It's all a, a smoking mirror, man. You know, you, you, you got brothers that join the military. You got brothers that been in the military, you know. But they woke up to it, man. It's all a smoking mirror. Nobody believes in, 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 in the Taliban no more. Nobody believes in... um. Al Qaeda, and nobody believes in that bullshit no more, man. It's all a, it's all a game, man, and it's all ran by the elites, man. You know, and the more women you see in the military, you, you might as well just call yourself an L, man. Just call it an L, cause a lot of these women in the military, man, they, they ain't worth shh, man. Let me, let me chill. These females in the military, man, you can just look at them, man. What 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 is a woman doing in the military? You know? This is why the numbers are down. Cuz nobody believes in it no more. Nobody believes in the military, man. It's all a fucking joke, man. 
I'm, let, me, let me look around, man. Through this uh, article. Uh, let's read this. The Army, like other military branches, is finding a lackluster pool of potential recruits. With only 23% of Americans qualified to serve due to obesity. <laughs> yo, yo, Americans are fat, man. <laughs> due to obesity and other issues. Yo, Americans are fucking fat. They are not even qualified to join the military, bro. Yo, yo. They're not even qualified to join the military, bro. This is how this is how bad America is. America's a fucking joke, man. Y'all about my shy is it's it, it, it's it's made you guys a joke. Let's get, you know. Let me get Jeremiah 51, man. It's Jeremiah 51 30. The mighty men of Babylon have bought have but born to fight. They have remained in their holes. They might have failed thee. Become as women. Salakia. They might have felt. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. Bro. This is exactly what we're seeing right now man. Esau's. Uh, military might have failed man. Nobody believes in this shit no more. Nobody believes in the military no more. Back in the uh, 1940s, uh, when World War II was happening, that's when they had tough guys, man. Tough Edomite guys, man. But not no more, man. That shit is gone. Them Afghanistan... Them, them, I, I, I'll, get, I'll tell you right now. The Koreans fucked y'all up. The Vietnamese fucked y'all up. The Afghans fucked y'all up. And our Iraqis fucked y'all up. It was easy. And you mighty men, y'all not y'all not there no more, man. The Lord took that might from you, Edomites, man. Y'all became his women. You know? That's why that's why the numbers are dwindling, man. Nobody wants to join the military no more. Nobody believes in it no more. And this so-called woke culture. That's just that's just fueling to the fire, man. You know? Let's read some more. Let's see let's see what's up. Um Let's read this. Fuck it. Army Secretary Christine Ramuth told senators that the service ex is exploring a variety of a methods to attract candidates so you got to do all this to, to attract people to join the military damn including boosting marketing efforts and possibly expanding the junior reserve officer to training corps program to expose more children to the army so nobody's even nobody's even blankets in the military no more man it says we got to find a way to help all young Americans understand all of the great opportunities that they can have in the army and all of the things that the army will enable them to do so, she said. It's a she. Man, this place is done, Meryl. <laughs> the, Pentagon, the Pentagon is also focused on improving retention, ensuring access to health care, child care, spousal employment, Family housing and other services that will make surgeons more likely to stick around. See, people join, people want to get the fuck out the military, man. You know, and we already know back in the day. You know, oh, excuse me, back not back in the day, but we already know in the future that Yahabash Masha is going to destroy this place with nuclear missiles. So we don't even, we don't even need uh, soldiers, man. You know. As opposed to, uh, you know, the Lord don't need soldiers, man. Because the missiles going to do the work for them. Now, when you read 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, that's going to go into it. It's going to go into uh, the soldiers trying to fight Yahweh Shai and his angels. 
And you already know the outcome of that. And Yahweh Shai ain't, ain't coming around the fucking room, man. He's going to absolutely destroy. You know? But these people, these, these Edomites are done, man. Their military is finished. They got nothing but, man, I, don't, I ain't going to, you know, try to keep it cool. But they got nothing but F words. They got nothing but T words. L words. You know, all up in their ranks, man. H how the fuck you gonna win a war? You can't. You can't, man. You got women in charge of infantry platoon. Uh, excuse me, of infantry platoons, of artillery platoons, of squadrons or whatever. You know. How the fuck are you gonna win this, man? You can't. This place is a fucking joke, man. And I'm vexed, man. I'm vexed. Every day I'm vexed, man. You know? These people, these people swear that they're children of Yahabash and Malshah. Or children of the Most High. These, these, you know, these Edomites, man. But they do nothing. And I'm switching gears a little bit. It's all through the spirit, man. This place has got to go, man. These these people don't have it, man. Let me let me read a little more, and I'm gonna close out, man. The spirit, man. I'm I'm gonna close out. All right. <clears throat> all right. Let's see, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Question the military's commitment to fixing the military housing play. I don't give a fuck about that. Uh pretty much, man. This whole this whole um thing is talking about the 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 decliment of the military's um recruiting efforts, man. They're done. Nobody wants to join the military. Nobody cares about 9-11. Nobody cares about uh, securing the country It's all bullshit And everybody's really waking up to it man Even e even um The wicked It's all BS man Nobody wants to join And I'm gonna close out man You know I, would, uh, I, I wish I had more scriptures To back it up but you know It's just you know through the spirit You got women, you got men literally change the women and women change the men in the military. Mad T words, man. Who the fuck wants to join that, man? I would never want to be side by side. I would never want to be in a, a, a life or death scenario with a T word, man. Or L word or the F word, you know? This place is finished, man. And call her law, you how about she man was shy, man. This place is done. Hey, man. Hey, call law, you how about she my shy. The water, you how about she my shy. For this word, Esau is finished. His 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 um military is done. All right, shalom.